It's not a good evening in Washington. The war between the leaders of the two political parties, President Trump and Speaker Nancy Pelosi, is getting hotter. Yesterday, the president walked out of a White House meeting with the Democratic leaders, saying there will be no more dealings with Congress till the Congress stops investigating him. And today, Speaker Pelosi openly questioned the president's fitness for office. And now this time, another ten temper tantrum. Uh, um, again, I pray for the president of the United States. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention for the good of the country. Your prayer comments almost suggest you're concerned about his well-being. I am. And the well-being of the United States of America. This is not behavior that is, uh, uh, rises to the dignity of the office of president of the United States. Well, then the president fired back, giving the most powerful woman in American government a nickname for the first time. It's a very, very uh, sort of a nasty type statement. But I will say this. She, wa she said I walked into the room right next door yesterday and walked in and started screaming and yelling. Just the opposite. You had the, uh, the group, crying Chuck, crazy Nancy. I tell you what, I've been watching her and I have, I have been watching her for a long period of time. She's not the same person. Uh, she's lost it. The whole Democrat Party is very messed up. They have never recovered from the great election of 2016. Well, Nancy Pelosi was not happy about it, and she is a mess. I think she's got a lot of problems. This happened to me once before with the same group. Crying Chuck. I don't want to say Crazy Nancy, because if I say that, you're going to say it's a copy of Crazy Bernie, and that's no good. Crazy Nancy. But Politico reports the public feuding may be costing the president the most. Quote, the Trump-Pelosi confrontations are getting to be recurring spectacles, and even Republicans know it hurts the president's image. A senior Republican said, it's a disaster. It plays right into her hands. And at the end of tonight's show, by the way, an even nastier, more personal shot taken today at the president. You won't want to miss it. But join me right now, Eli Stokos, White House reporter for the Los Angeles Times, Michelle Goldberg, columnist for the New York Times, David Jolly, former Republican congressman from Florida, who's no longer with that party. Eli. This is hot and it's embarrassing. The president of the United States, well, let's talk. Nancy Pelosi said he's almost a subject to the 23rd Amendment. There's actually something wrong with the guy. He needs an intervention. She's praying for him. He shoots back that she's crazy. Well, and she's been trying to keep her caucus in line before going full bore into to impeachment. And what Trump is doing, he's showing that she's living inside his head rent free. He, she is give, or he is giving her credence with her caucus to say, look, we're already getting to him. Let's go slowly. Let's lay out this public case. And you can tell when he gets agitated like this, it, it was reminiscent today of some of the there have been so many scenes like this in cabinet meetings where the president goes around and has staffers sort of sing for their supper and sing his praises. And, and he's fixated on media narratives and he's just kind of all over the place. It was sort of similar to a scene like that that we saw after uh, the president fired Jim Comey a couple of years so ago. So you think you think this is uh, that's what I think. I think I hear you say this. Nancy Pelosi does not want to go the road of impeachment. She thinks it's suicidal politically for her party. But in short, short of that, an alternative to that, she says, let's just mess with the president's head for a while. I don't know that's quite that simple. I don't, and I don't know that she's ruled out impeachment. There are a lot of Democrats that are speaking publicly that they're ready to go down that road now. And there are a lot more the behind, you know, that aren't saying that publicly that. That, that are ready to do that and are trying to not put more pressure on the speaker. And so that's the situation that she's dealing with. And I don't think she's ruled it out. I think she's trying to be as judicious as she can and show the American people that, you know, Trump is trying to portray this as a political Political witch hunt. The Dems want to redo on the Mueller report. They're just out to get me. Yesterday, he said, all these people, they're just against me. She is trying to demonstrate that that is not the case, that they are following the facts where the yes. facts lead, that they are trying to, you know, do these investigations the right way and subpoena people. And the president is stonewalling and refusing to cooperate. She's trying to lay that out slowly. And, and, and every time it just sort of escalates this back and forth. Well, thing. Speaker Pelosi first referred to the president's behavior as a temper tantrum in a letter to colleagues last night. In tweets last night and this morning, she fired back writing that he was purposely very polite and calm. And this morning, he insisted he was extremely calm. This the president talking, he defended his demeanor again this afternoon. He said, I'm going to be very calm because I don't want them going out to the press and saying that I was anything but calm. So I was extremely calm, very much like I am right now. 
And it was sad when I watched Nancy all moving the movement and the hands and the craziness. And I watched it. That's, by the way, a person that's got some problems. Uh, Michelle, uh, you're a deep person. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know what we say because, I mean, I've never covered anything like this. It's like the, the kindergarten class. I mean, one person calling the other in need of, need, in need of an inter intervention, and maybe she's trying to gaslight him, make him confused about his own mentality and emotional stability. And he calls going to resorting to all the name calling. He used to resort for people well below him in ability and, and status, but he's now calling the top uh, leader of the Congress crazy. And he's and she's calling him in need of an intervention and she's praying for him. Explain. Well, look, I don't I think that it's really wrong to treat this as if it's just sort of two people throwing schoolyard insults. What you have is an unhinged president given to these. I mean, it was a temper tantrum. And then today there was this increasingly embarrassing display of I'm not mad. I'm not mad. She's mad. I mean, it, it's pathetic, you know, and then having him kind of get all of his lackeys to affirm just how not mad he was. I mean, everyone who watches this should be so ashamed, you know, particularly the people who worship Donald Trump because they think he's some sort of embodiment of, of manliness as opposed to yeah. this whiny, simpering baby. Okay, okay Michelle, so, let me challenge you. Do you really think, I mean, she's a Roman Catholic, she is a religious woman, in a, certainly in a private life. Do you honestly believe that she's praying for the welfare of Donald Trump. Praying. My sense is that she's praying for the country that is at his mercy. No, that's not right? what she's saying. She says, I'm praying for Donald Trump because he's in need of an intervention from his family. You're letting her off the hook here. These are clinical letting claims. Her off the hook. She These needs are... an intervention. I think the problem with Nancy Pelosi's approach, and I wrote this in my in the column that I just published, is that she's far too gentle with Donald Trump, right? I mean, he does need an intervention. The problem is that she's the person who's constitutionally mandated to perform this intervention. But the fact that he is unstable and unwell is just manifestly true. Okay, there's a bottom line. As Michelle just mentioned, <laughs> President Trump had several of his aides at the White House lined up today to testify to his demeanor at yesterday's White House meeting. Here goes. Kellyanne, what was my temperament yesterday? In the Very room? calm, no temper tantrum. I told the facts first crowd that they published that the fuming temper tantrum rage lost it, that that's just a lie, because uh, everyone was young, so somebody had them on tape, yeah. But you were very calm, so they, 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 they have it on tape someplace? Room. Good. Mercedes, you're always a straight talker. You were in that room yesterday? Yes, sir. What was my attitude when I walked in? No, Did I ever scream? No, you were very calm, and you were very direct. Uh, Larry, you were there. Uh, what was my attitude yesterday at the meeting? Uh, Mercy's right. Uh, Kellyanne's right. You were very calm. And you laid out the case. Just out of curiosity, you were there. What was my telling yesterday at the meeting? Uh, very calm. I've seen both, and this was definitely yeah. not uh, <laughs> angry or ranting. Uh, very calm and straightforward and clear. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.